No kids and you're single and you're in your 50s and you cry a lot, but that's not really the point. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song. You know how home feels? There's just this this feeling that's kind of hard to describe, but it's home. Whether it's a physical place or a feeling that you just have or something very special about home. Now, sometimes there's that feeling of home that doesn't actually exist. Like we, when you were a child, home was a place that you went and you were nurtured and it's where all your stuff was. But as an adult, as you move and you travel and you do whatever, home becomes more of this feeling, this good feeling, but it's kind of abstract. It's not just a place, like in your childhood, uh, it's not just a place where you put your stuff, you know? So you all know I'm moving soon, and pretty much everything's packed up and I'm ready to get in there. Um, it's a nice apartment. I think it's cool. Um, it's a little overpriced for me, but um, it's just another place to put my stuff. Home? We're going to revert back to that kind of abstract feeling of what home is. I feel like where I put my belongings and where I lay my head at night and where I feel safe and it's my haven from the world is home. That's home. I feel that my home with my belongings in it is one place and then my heart has a home in Guadalajara, Mexico. So I have two homes and I just feel really blessed because of that. I feel really, really blessed. I know you remember me rambling on in my last video about how relationships uh, how you nurture relationships and how that makes travel fun for me. That's what travel is for me. Um, I will miss my Guadalajara family very much. In fact, I just made a new friend, can't remember his name, but he's from Canada, A, and um, snowboarder, snowboarder type of dude. And I just feel like Guadalajara is such a special city it's such an international city. So many people come here from all over the world to finish up their practicums in medical or whatever. There's a lot of schools here. I spent the day yesterday with my friend and she's moving as well. And we both were chatting about how moving, just moving your belongings from one place to another is a really big event. And it can open up so many doors, windows, whatever, whatever uh, uh, metaphor you want to use for it. Um, but it, just the simple, the simple task of moving this from here to here and sleeping somewhere else is exciting. It's exciting. And uh, it's also dreadful and very expensive, but um, it's exciting because you know what? You're going to meet more new people. I don't know what the future holds. I don't think any of us do right now, unless you work in the tech industry and you get to work from home. I don't know what the world holds. So it's really hard to plan things out. Um, I wanna to go to Wales. I've been wanting to go to Wales for two years. I did my DNA, Ancestry.com DNA, and you know, I'm 85% Welsh. So why wouldn't I wanna go there, you know? Uh, it's not tropical, it's not uh, warm. I'm not gonna be sunbathing there, but I wanna go there, there's a calling. And that's another type of home. 
not because of ancestry DNA telling me that I'm 85% Welsh, but because I've always had this calling for um, Europe. I've always had this calling for England. Uh, I didn't know I had a calling for Wales, but I was a huge fan of Tom Jones because my mom was. And by the way, this is a great segue, uh, my birth father's name was Tom Jones. So, yay, not the famous one, but yeah, anyway. So to wrap this all up and to make sense of everything I'm babbling on about, home is where you put your stuff, where you lay your head, where you feel safe, where you retreat from the world. Home is a place where people are there and they want to see you and they want to be with you and they're welcoming. And home is also a feeling, a calling. So home doesn't just mean, hi, here's where I live. I live there, that's my home. No, it's, it's, just, it's so much more than that. And the process of moving is so much more than that. You know, I'm really not good at talking um, on camera, um, um, ah, uh, ooh, because I, I stop and I have to think about what I'm saying. And if I write it down, then it's like, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So I'm working on not saying so. I'm working on not saying and. I'm working on not saying um. Bear with me. I'll get better at this. I swear to God, I'll get better at this. But think about home and think about what you what what comes up in your gut, what you feel when you talk about home. Especially the the empty nesters out there. Your children are grown, they're gone. Um, they don't really come over and you're single and so you have to cook for yourself and uh, buy groceries for your for just one person. So that means you have to go to the grocery store more because food wastes. Um, all that goes into just goes into everything. So my my new place, my new place that I am renting, um, has this fabulous, huge, double doored stainless steel refrigerator, and it has a gas stove. Praise Krishna! Um, so I'm gonna have to learn how to cook. I've been out of the realm of cooking since my son left home when he was 18 because I was only cooking for myself and cooking for yourself is a pain in the ass. It's not fun. Um, and Uber Eats sucks. It just, come on, it's not healthy and it's spending a lot of money. So I'm really excited about getting in there and cooking and being healthy or healthier with my, um, eating habits yeah moving is exciting no matter where you're moving to or if you're just moving through the world and stopping here or there and, and then moving on then moving here yeah moving's pretty awesome if I say moving one more time I'm probably gonna bash my head into the wall <laughs> To wrap this video up, wrap this vlog up, I want to know what you think about home. Is it abstract for you? Is it where you lay your head at night? Is it where people welcome you? What What is home for you? It is um, my interpretations, interpretations, of home similar to yours especially especially the em empty nesters out there and the ones with no kids and you're single and you're in your 50s and you cry a lot but that's not really the point what's home for you all right i'll see you next time later
not gonna stress, not gonna make a mess. Oh.